I want to go to uh, Congressman Representative Mike Lawler, who was part of that Republican delegation visiting the border, and he joins us now from the area around Eagle Pass, Texas. Uh, Representative Lawler, Lawler, thanks very much for being here. I want to, I'm going to read you something the White House said in response to your trip down there along with your colleagues. They said, instead of joining the Biden administration to find common ground, Speaker Johnson is continuing to block President Biden's proposed funding to hire thousands of new border agents. Are Republicans really blocking border security as the White House would have it? That's such a joke, uh, and frankly, uh, beneath the White House to put out a statement like that. Uh, the reality is this. House Republicans are the only ones that have done anything on border security this year. We passed H.R. 2 seven months ago, the strongest border security measure in the history of Congress. Chuck Schumer, the Senate Majority Leader from New York, my home state, has failed to do anything on border security uh, in seven months since we passed H.R. 2. Uh, so the failure here is on the part of the administration. Uh, whose policies have exacerbated the crisis. Uh, since Joe Biden took office, nearly 10 million migrants have crossed our southern border, most yeah. of them illegally. Uh, Ninety percent of those that are detained are released into the United States. This is a crisis of their own making, uh, and it is a dereliction of duty on the part of Joe Biden, Secretary Mayorkas, and frankly, Chuck yeah. Schumer uh, as the, the Senate Congress Majority Leader. Uh, Congressman, I, I want to just get back to the basic here, the fundamental fact of your trip. What did you see down there that surprised you? What did you see down there that's going to influence whatever you end up voting on, if you end up having another vote on immigration in Congress? Well, just as we were touring the Rio Grande, we saw about 10 to 12 uh, migrants from Venezuela uh, crossing the border illegally. Uh, they were detained. They're going to be processed and likely released uh, based on the percentages that we learned this morning from Customs and Border Patrol agents, where about 90 percent of those processed are released into the United States. Uh -huh. uh, in addition, we saw a family, a, a, a husband and wife seemingly, and two young children uh, crossing the Rio Grande uh, as we were doing a press conference. And so, you know, we saw firsthand what is happening here. Uh, obviously, just last week at Eagle Pass, uh, you had thousands crossing over. Uh, the, the facility that we toured today was processing 6,000 uh, yeah. at one time. It's only built to handle about 1,000. So this is a real crisis uh, that needs to be addressed, uh, and the administration needs to take it seriously. Uh, and the negotiations have to be in good faith. Uh, yeah. The Senate uh, negotiations uh, seemingly are half-hearted and mealy-mouthed at best. We need yeah. serious border security, uh, and, and they need to negotiate with House Republicans. Uh, uh, okay, Congressman, on, on that issue, uh, our colleagues at The Hill reported today, Republicans want to avoid a clash with Trump on border security deal. We're obviously now officially on January 4th in an election year. Uh, there's a lot at stake here. Uh, uh, the politics of the election year, you know, there are going to be people who say anything that's any deal that is struck in the Congress is going to be seen as a victory for the president and therefore bad for Republicans and the leader of their party in President Trump. Do you think that factors in? Look, this is about the country, the, the security and the sovereignty of our country. Uh, as a representative from New York, uh, where, you know, New York has failed sanctuary city policies, the, the right to shelter, the refusal to cooperate with ICE, uh, I'm focused on solving the crisis here. Uh, the politics of 24 uh, will play itself out. But this yeah. is about dealing with a very serious crisis right now at our southern border. Nearly 10 million migrants have crossed our southern border uh, since Joe Biden took office. Joe Biden has failed uh, on this issue uh, miserably. Uh, it, it is at his feet uh, that we are dealing with this crisis. So. Uh, ultimately, you know, Congress has a responsibility to act. The White House has a responsibility to act. Uh, I'm not kicking the can down the road. We passed H.R. 2 right. back in May of this year. The responsibility now is on the White House and the Senate Democrats to do something All right. about it. All right. Congressman, Representative Lawler, thank you very much for joining us from Eagle Pass, Texas. I appreciate it. Thank you for watching and make sure you go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.